Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, back with another short tutorial about the melodic minor scale. One of the biggest film franchises of all time leans heavily on the melodic minor scale for its signature motif. I'm talking about James Bond. Let's take a look. <laughs> Hi. Well, we're going to talk about the Bond theme, but first I want to encourage you to stick around to the end of the video because we're teasing a little collaboration, Martin Heidenreich and I. We haven't announced exactly what it's going to be yet, but uh, it's going to be a holiday collaboration. I'll just let you in on that. Now, if you would asked me this morning when I woke up who wrote the James Bond theme, I would have said John Barry. John uh, arranged Dr. No, the first film, and then was the composer of record on, I think, maybe 10 or 11 f Bond movies after that. An enormous number. And he's a terrific film composer. Lots of other films under his belt. But it turns out the theme is written by Monty Norman. Well, Monty Norman and, and, and Barry apparently got into a bit of a tangle about it, and there's some interesting history but we're here to talk about the notes. We're here to talk about the melodic minor scale. Do the research. Do a little bit of research about this Monty Norman. I wrote the James Bond theme thing. It's crazy. It's crazy. I I, I just found out about it today. Okay, let's look at this on the screen because there's there's a lot to there's a little bit to unpack anyway. So the natural minor scale. Uh, this is E natural minor. Is um, like a G major scale from E to E. It's the sixth mode of the major scale. The melodic minor scale we're talking about, though, has a couple of variations. This is the same, three, four, five, and when you get to six, it's major, seven, it's major, and then you're back again. If you compare the two, if you compare the two, you can see a C natural, a D natural, as opposed to a C sharp, and a D-sharp. Well, that gives us some interesting qualities, not the least of which is one of my favorite sounds, the film noir chord, the minor major seven chord. Ready? The Pink Panther, Henry Mancini's great score and theme ends with a minor major seven major nine chord. Ready for that? Okay, here we go. Let's see. It's a real film noir big band, jazz, mystery, action sound. A little more about the melodic minor in the Bond theme. Okay, the left hand of the Bond starts off. And you can see it's a fifth, a natural sixth, and then a raised sixth. Fifth, the minor sixth, it's natural, and then the raised sixth. It's a very interesting sound, and that little chromatic line in the center gives us something very special in the sound. The next part of the melody is just the minor scale. Right, not much. But I'll tell you what, the, the melodic minor territory in the next part of the theme, though, is really what I want to pay attention to. Wow. One, three, there's our major seven. And it immediately falls down to the minor seventh. I love that moment. And then a blue note, minor three, flat five to five. It's Definitely drawing on the uh, African-American classical tradition there. And then a little minor turn to nine. Nine, another dissonance. Remember that major major seven, major nine, minor chord we heard? And then this, little, this last one, five, one, major six. I'm going to highlight these notes, which are sort of dissonant and signature, to the ascending melodic minor sound. So this overall effect 
almost. is very much part of the James Bond sound. In fact, if you think about the way the arrangement that, Bar that Barry did opens up, he begins like this. He goes... With an interesting chord. I should, uh, I should record that so you can see what it looks like. So Barry does this. He goes... Look at his voicing. That's C sharp at the bottom. E, G, B. And that C sharp is the raised sixth. There's nothing about the Bond theme that isn't clever and, and, and um, calculated around this very spicy minor scale. It's spicy for a couple of reasons. I think the, it's obvious that the tension between the raised seventh, the major seventh going to one, and the seventh itself is really, really important. And then if you think about that chromatic line in the, in the bass, it's so unsettling, but it makes perfect sense. It's very crafty, super smart, and a great way to get the melodic minor scale sonorities into your ear. I don't know anyone who hasn't seen at least one or two Bond films, and if you've seen a Bond film, you know this sound. You know the sound of the melodic minor scale. It's the sound of film noir. It's the sound of a lot of mystery action adventure. You actually sort of can't get along without it. Well, as I said at the top of the video, we have a holiday collaboration challenge coming up, Martin Heidenreich and I, and I'll, I'll link his channel. He's a great composer and, and teacher. He's worth following. It's from... Uh, from Italy, and, and he and I are going to ask our subscribers to collaborate on something. We're, we haven't quite announced it yet, but keep your ears peeled. In fact, ding that bell and you'll be notified when I post a new video. It's great that you're subscribing. We just passed 800 subscribers here, which makes me so happy. That's 800 more than when I started. Leave a comment. I want to know what you're working on. Any other scales you're interested in? There's so many. Well, I hope this has been useful, and uh, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.